Howdy everyone and welcome back to another beautiful day here on The More You Grow. I assume if you watch these videos you have a few plants yourself or if you're like me you have a lot of plants and sometimes too many plants in my case or at the very least you enjoy plants and you like to learn about them. And if you've been around plants long enough or have had a few plants yourself you've probably seen that rainwater just has an awesome effect on your plants. They grow so much better, they look so much healthier and that's for many different reasons and we'll go over that here in the video. But I want to talk about what we're going to do today. Right now I'm collecting rainwater in five gallon buckets and that's just kind of getting to be a pain. There's buckets everywhere, the water gets nasty, it gets mosquitoes in it and I can't store as much as I'd like. So today I'm going to show you how I build a rain barrel. I'll show you all the equipment you need, all the parts you're going to need and how to put it all together. So let's go talk about that and let's go check it out. So why is rainwater so much better for your plants than city water or well water? Well, it all comes down to what rainwater has, but mostly what it doesn't have. Your rainwater isn't gonna contain any chlorine or fluoride, which is found in city water to treat it, and that can cause chlorine and fluoride toxicity. It's not gonna have any of the heavy minerals like calcium and magnesium that can affect the soil chemistry around your plants. And a big one is it won't contain any sodium, which is often used as a water softener in hard water situations, which that sodium can absolutely destroy your soil structure and it can bind to a lot of the nutrients that your plants need to where it's unavailable to your plant. On top of all that, you're gonna have some added benefits with your rainwater. You're gonna have an increased oxygen content, which is gonna be great for the roots. You're going to have a little bit of nitrogen content since our atmosphere is made up of mostly nitrogen. There's a little bit of atmospheric nitrification in that rainwater. That's why they always green up a little bit after a good rain. You're also going to have a leaching effect. If you did have any salts or minerals in your city water or well water, that rainwater is going to leach those out and it's just going to help get your soil back on track. There's a lot of other benefits. If you want to find out more about those, I found a good site with a lot of good information. I'll leave the link for that down in the description. But let's get on to our rainwater harvesting barrel build. The first thing we need to do to make a rain barrel is we need a barrel of some kind. It can be an actual barrel, it can be a large bucket. In this case, it's going to be a trash can. There's some added benefits to these trash cans that I like that I think y'all are going to like as well. So now that we've got our container of choice, we need to find a way to get water out of this to water our plants and a way for water to get in so it'll fill up. So let's go do that. The first thing we're going to do with our rain barrel is make a way for us to get the rainwater out. And what we're going to do is we're going to install one of these brass faucets on the bottom of our rain barrel. And you'll see these trash can rain barrel instructions a few places online. They'll have you getting stuff like metal washers, rubber o-rings, hose clamps, water sealant, all this stuff. Just stuff that isn't even going to get you a nice tight seal on your rain barrel and i have a solution for that they actually make a product for just a few dollars at somewhere like tractor supply to mount a faucet onto a barrel or other plastic container it's going to have these two parts that this part's going to go on the inside and we're going to drill a hole here in a minute and once we tighten this down it's going to give us a nice seal on our barrel and attached to this is what we're gonna put our faucet on and you'll have a setup just like that. It's gonna be perfect. So you really don't need all those fiddly parts that aren't gonna get you a good seal. Just spend a few dollars, get something like this and you're gonna be set. So let's get this hole drilled to put our faucet attachment on and go on to the next step. Okay, to get this faucet mounted on here, we're gonna need a few pieces of equipment. You're gonna need a power drill and a hole saw. And it's gonna matter what size your faucet attachment is. You wanna get a nice kind of tight fit. You don't want it too big, you don't want it too small. Just get a tight fit and I really hope this one's gonna work because once we get a hole in this thing, that's it. All right, so moment of truth. We're actually gonna go a little bit up from the bottom so that way if you get any kind of sediment collected in this or any kind of junk like that, which we're gonna talk about here in a little bit, it's gonna make it to where you can drain that out with it going without it going through your faucet head. So we're going to go ahead and make a drill here. Okay guys, so we ran into a little bit of an issue. 
Apparently when I put in my hole for my adapter, the hole saw stopped about halfway through and caused the hole to be a little bit bigger than I wanted it to. But we have a solution here hopefully. We have some waterproof tape and I'm going to use that kind of like a gasket. So I'm going to cut a hole just big enough for our, our adapter to go through and see if that's going to help keep it from leaking. Okay, we've got it through. Let's tighten this piece on, put on our faucet, and see if we got this fixed. If not, back to the drawing board. All right, so our waterproof tape did the trick. There's no more leaks, and I think that's gonna work well. All right, now that we've got a way to get water out of our rain barrel, we need to make a way to get water into our rain barrel. And that's the benefit of using this trash can here. We're gonna use the lid that comes with it and drill a couple of large holes in the top of this trash can lid. And once we mount this up on top of the trash can, it'll be a nice collection basin that'll gather more water than if we had a flat surface. So now I'm gonna take our hole saw and I've got it figured out this time where it won't come loose, hopefully. And we're going to drill a couple of holes here. There's one. Okay, easy as that. All right, so we have our holes drilled in our lid. This is where our rainwater is gonna flow into. But one of the things we gotta make sure to do so we need to cover these holes with some way to keep leaves and other things out. And the way I'm gonna do that is I got a little piece of hardware cloth from one of my other projects. And I'm just gonna get some of our waterproof tape and tape it on here, kinda like this. So I'll do that, I'll show you as I go along and we'll see how it looks. All right, just to give you a look, I used our waterproof tape here. Let me tell you, this stuff is sticky. This is not coming off even if I want it to. I used our waterproof tape to put on some hardware cloth and that's gonna catch the leaves, the sticks, anything like that that would wash off and try to go into our bucket. It'll catch those before they go in where they could clog up our faucet and I could just kind of dump those off when I want to. Another thing you could do is if you had some mosquito screen, the plastic mosquito screen or some landscape cloth, you could tape that to the bottom side here and that'll keep your mosquitoes out. I just don't happen to have any of that right now. I might do that later on, but that's just something I want to add in there for people that are worried about mosquitoes. Another thing you can do about mosquitoes is you can get the mosquito dunks and those are all natural. They're not gonna hurt your plants. They're just have bacteria that will kill and eat the mosquito larvae. So that's another solution. So now that we've got this done, let's go on to our next step. Our next step is we need to make the overflow for when this gets full, there's gotta be some way to get that excess water out. And one of the cool things we're gonna do is we're going to use a little small piece of PVC pipe I've got here. We're gonna drill a hole, put this in. What's really cool about this idea is if you want to make multiple rain barrels, you could connect them together with some PVC pipe or some hose. And that way they will just fill each other up as they get full. So what I'm gonna do since I don't wanna make two right now is I'm just gonna use a five gallon bucket put underneath this overflow. It's gonna catch that excess rainwater. So let's drill our hole and put this in and see if it fits. We're gonna put this as high as we can so we can catch as much rainwater as possible. Okay, we got our hole drilled. And let's see if our PVC will fit into this. Oh, it's gonna be a tight fit. That's how we want it though. There we go. And just like that, we have our overflow. This is gonna be awesome because I'll put a bucket underneath this. We're gonna be able to catch some more water and it will not overflow our bucket. All there is left to do now is secure our lid. And that's gonna be easy because this trash can comes with some holes already in the handles. If there isn't, you could drill some holes and secure this the way I'm about to do right now. We're just gonna put our lid on here. I got some twisty ties that came out of the trash. Always recycle and reuse when you can. And we're just going to put those through these holes up here. And then 
we can tie this off like so and then all we have to do is wrap this around this handle and that's going to secure this lid I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and yeah that's all there is to it so let's take a look at how this rain barrel looks from top to bottom so here's the final setup you guys I got the rain barrel up on top of these blocks to where I can get the watering cans underneath we've got our lid with the screen on top ready to catch some water our overflow there and our bucket ready to catch the excess and so whenever it rains we're going to have some water here and it all just flows in strains through and whenever we're ready to water some plants all we gotta do is turn on our faucet and fill up our water can in no time all that's left to do once you have your rain barrel complete is to find a location that catches a lot of rainwater. I've got mine in the corner of my porch to where this is like a waterfall when it rains and this is going to fill up in no time. Well there you have it guys. We now have a very functional, very useful rain barrel to water our plants here on the porch forest. It's about to rain this evening so it's perfect timing. Hopefully I didn't just jinx it saying that. We're going to see if this fills up, how functional it is, but I think it's going to work great. So if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you have any more questions for me about how to make your own rain barrel or anything I did along the way in this video, leave it down in the comments. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Go check us out on Facebook and Instagram and hit that bell icon for notifications. And until next time, I hope you'll join me right here on The More You Grow.